Hi everybody, Patrick here from EngineeringShot.com and ElectronicLessons.com. What I have here is a emergency button with key release, a freaking loud uh, siren blinker for security modules, and a 12 volt power supply. And what we're going to do is we're going to, together, you and me, we're going to make a fun little panic alarm button. So, uh, someone comes into your house, you're freaking out. What are you going to do? Call the police. But before that, you're going to press your security button. Locks into place. The only way to disarm it quickly is to use the key. Uh, now you might be thinking, huh, huh, why doesn't he just unplug the power supply? You'd have this in a very unideal place. You'd have it in a place where, and if someone actually heard this, if someone broke into your house, um, you know, they wouldn't be thinking, oh, I better go find that pretty quick because this alarm is so loud they'd be like holy crap I'm getting the hell out of here and you'll hear it in a minute but even hearing it through the through the video isn't like hearing it in real life this thing hurts your ears big time but it's extremely easy to put together what we're gonna do is we're gonna it's basically one simple circuit it's essentially a series circuit nothing more so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna modify this 12 volt power supply so that it doesn't have the the uh the jack on it and I'm going to show you how to uh, determine which line is the positive and which is the negative because we're going to need to do that uh, and then I'm going to show you the back of this security board and I'm going to talk a bit about the siren really this video should only take a few minutes so first of all let's let's cut off the jack on the power supply and I'll show you the two wires we're in luck the wire is red the positive wire is red and the negative wire is black. Now, I did not know this because a lot of the time when you open up these power supply wires, they're both black or they're both white. Uh, or they bo they're both black and they've got white stripes to them. So, the easiest way to, to determine which is positive and which is negative is take a voltage measurement and if you have the polarities right, it'll tell you the voltage. If you have the polarities wrong, uh, it'll give you a negative voltage, and that'll give be an indicator as to which voltage is which, which wire is which. For instance, if I took a multimeter and I put my red probe uh, here on the black, and I put my black probe on my red, it would say, and I plugged it in, it would say negative 12 volts. So I know that's wrong. So I turn around, put my red probe on on this wire, and put my black probe on this wire. It'll say 12 volts. That's an a great indicator of determining uh, which volt which. Uh, is is the positive wire and which one is the negative wire? Try it out for yourself. Try it out on a uh, five to twelve volt power supply. You won't hurt yourself. Tw tw twelve volts going through your skin, uh, it won't hurt you. 120 volts AC, hell yeah, that'll hurt you. Anyway, so now we know which is a positive and negative wire. Next, let's talk about our uh, our switch. On the back of the security button, there are three essential traces. It's like a relay. There's a common pin a normally open pin and a normally connected pin. The common pin is on the left. The normally open pin is in the middle and the normally connected pin is on the right. Now by normally connected that means that it's normally connected to common. So when the button is not pushed the right uh, wire or trace and the left trace are connected internally. Uh, and when you push the button, the common pin disconnects from, from the, the right trace and connects to the middle trace, which is the normally open pin. So what we're going to do is we're going to solder our positive 12 volt wire to the common pin. And we're going to solder um, our, uh, our siren, the positive wire of our siren, to the normally open pin. So when you push the button, 12 volts connects to the positive wire of the uh, siren. And we're going to connect the ground from the uh, power supply to the ground on the siren. So grounds are always connected. What this is serving to do is when you press the button, it connects 12 volts from the power supply to the siren. Now the siren only has two wires, a positive and a negative wire. So really, we're just creating a circuit. Positive wire runs through this. As soon as you press the button, it connects power to the siren. And uh, as soon as you unlock, as soon as you use the key to unlock it, power is disconnected from the siren. So let me just introduce the siren quickly, and then we'll put it all together. It'll take us in just a minute to put it together. All right, kids, meet big boy Leroy Brown, loudest siren in the whole damn town. Two wires, 
You've got a red wire and a wire that is red and black. The wire that is red and black is your negative. The wire that is all red is your positive wire. So again, we're going to connect the red wire to the uh, normally open pin of the switch. And we're going to connect the black wire directly to the black wire on our power supply so the grounds are always connected. Now let me just throw this together really quick and I'll, again I'll show you the final product before we test it. All done, all done. I'm not even going to test it. In fact the first time I test it will be the first time you see it working. First time I see it working. Again what's going to happen is I'm going to plug it in, I'm going to press the button, the alarm's going to go off, I'm going to put this in. Even if a burglar does come into your, into your house, you, pick, you push your panic switch, you turn on that alarm and he, fig he or she figures out how to, how to break it or unplug it in the dark. You know, I mean, by the time that happens, the damage has been done. And you, you're going to think, why? This is so loud. So let me plug it in, and we'll test it. Now, I was thinking I probably should have mounted this on something for the video, but I just wanted to show you the simplicity, because this took three minutes to put together. Three minutes. So let me just show it to you. Brace yourself if you're wearing, uh, yeah, if you're wearing uh, earphones. Now, if that doesn't sound as loud as it does, as it does from here, trust me, in real in real life, being one on one with this thing, it's deafening. It's awful. Let's try it one more time. So there you have it. It's a fun circuit. I'm going to turn this into a kit. Really, I'm just going to sell those three parts: the power supply, the uh, security button with the key, uh, the uh, the siren, and the siren does come with some mounting parts so really easy to put together great for a fun security system you know if you're doing it for a science project there you go really easy to do um, if you want to talk about the schematic I could do that now actually just to go through the simplicity of it all so let's do that okay, here's your wall wart pardon my artistry I'm not very good with the pencil Here's your positive wire, here's your negative wire. Now your positive wire will go to the emergency switch. Now let's not look at the emergency switch as it looks physically, but let's look at it as it is on a schematic level. This is the common pin. Hopefully you can still see that the normally connected pin and the normally open pin. So by default when the button is not pressed the common pin is connected to the normally connected pin. When you press the button the common pin connects to the normally open pin. So we've got our positive voltage going to our common pin. We've got our positive siren voltage connected to the normally open pin and the negative wire of the the negative and black wire of the siren connected back to the DC ground. So when here's 12 volts on the positive on the positive uh, voltage line goes through the common pin to the normally connected line. As soon as you press the button, no longer connected to the normally to the normally connected line it connects through to the normally open line and you've got series circuit. Power 12 volts flows through the siren and back to ground. It's really very simple and uh, hopefully you're able to follow along. Sorry for my awful schematic. Hopefully you enjoyed it. These parts can all be found at engineeringshock.com and electroniclessons.com. They will be soon. I'll actually, as I mentioned before, be selling it as a kit. But if you want to, you can find your own 12 volt power supply, your own siren, and your own emergency switch. They're out there. You can find them, but if you want, I'll throw them all together in one big package for you. So visit us at engineeringshock.com and electroniclessons.com today. Thanks for watching.